Mr. Marcel Jackson, Peace King, what's up? I see that you are very consistent, so that's great. And um, I've watched for the last few years be very consistent and seeking knowledge and growing as a realtor in South Jersey and investor. So Marcel Jackson asks, would you support your daughter daughter's decision if she wanted to skip college and start her own business once she graduated from high school? Absolutely. My daughter is an honor roll student. Uh, both are, my seven-year-old and my 16-year-old. Um, she wants to go to Brown University or Princeton. Um, she goes to one of the best private schools in the country. But if she said, Daddy, I don't really want college, it's not for me. I want to go act, I want to go model, I want to go start my own company um, and pursue business. Uh, I want to make sure that she still needs to get an education on owning a business, right? So she can skip college, start her own business, but then she would need to take some kind of business course or class, which is what we all offer. Like I really put her in my own school, the J. Marsh Academy, and make her take the business startup course. You can't just start a business and you don't know how. You still have to learn. College doesn't have to be your education. You just got to be educated. So you just can't go start a business if you have no idea on how to start a business, how to form a team, how to do your accounting, your bookkeeping, your corporation setup, your marketing, your branding, what uh, um, tips on how uh, small businesses fail, best practices. Like, you still got to know stuff. So, like, you can't skip education. No, I'm not with that. But you could forego college for uh, other kinds of post-secondary education. Yes, and I would support it. Um, to start our own business more rapidly or more expeditiously. So from IG, Angela underscore Gibson asks, I am midway through college. I recently became the lord of my land. I have three months of rental income, no two year work history. I would like to apply for an FHA loan. How would I receive a promise of employment letter from an employer if I'm currently self-employed? Well, you need to go to your mortgage company and if you are self-employed, they will need to see what the status is of that company, like what kind of activity, what kind of bank statements, what kind of income um, you got passed through, what's your current P&L, profit and loss, or year-to-date profit and loss, and really let your mortgage broker see what options and guidelines they have. It may not be FHA, it could be a conventional loan, but you need to see with those qualifications, you need to talk to a mortgage broker um, or mortgage banker and talk to two or three of them, right? It doesn't hurt. And your credit won't be affected by two or three pulling your credit in the same month. You get up to like five or six or seven, I think even, mortgage pools without it affecting your credit, the inquiries. But you need to go shop around and see what a mortgage company can do for you. I'm not a licensed, uh, loan originator or mortgage banker or any of that. I just know a lot. Um, and I know enough to know that this is a question that you need to specifically ask a mortgage banker to see how you can specifically, what your situation fit into one of their mortgage programs and guidelines. Uh, so I would do that and be very assertive about it um, or see what self-employed programs they have. And IG also Mr. Mar Marcel asked, from IG also, excuse me. Uh, Mr. Marcel asked, any tips for getting a lot of traffic at your open house for a listing? Um, to get a lot of traffic as a realtor in your open house, you to, to me, you want to be creative as possible. I believe in value adds. I mean, I do like the traditional stuff where you're doing, you know, where people do you know, wine tastings or you have um, some kind of incentive. I mean, obviously food or d'oeuvres, people love that kind of stuff. Like realtors love to go out and get little free food or free bites to eat um, or any kind of entertainment. Um, I know one thing I did with uh, my Alpine listing was we did a, uh, I mean, this is over the top, right? So this is for like a, a, a $9 million, uh, $9.7 million listing at the time. But we did a, uh, I hired live actors. It was a huge house, it was like 12,000 square feet. But I hired live actors to act out the living and the living environment or the living, living circumstances within each room. So within a master bedroom, I had a husband and wife acting out what they would be doing, getting ready for a cocktail party. I had a family acting out in the kitchen, you know, just breakfast and their, and their chef. 
uh, the family in the, in, the, in the dining room acting out, you know, their actual living experience around this big uh, old English table in, in, in the dining room. So that was just something I did that, that realtors got a kick out of, right? So I believe it needs to be entertainment or food, basically, long story short, if you want to get real traffic. Like, have, a, have another draw there besides the house if you can. Something, and the traffic you really want is for other realtors because they all have clients. It's one thing to have home buyers come through and, tra and, and have traffic come through. And you can get a good leads that way. And, and even if you, and the great part about having home buyers or potential home buyers come through is one, you do want to make sure they're pre qualified if they come through. And if not, you want to have a mortgage representative there to pre qualify them or at least kind of screen them or have, or have applications to be pre qualified there. That would give you a help you build a great relationship with that mortgage person, that mortgage person, right? And they'll probably send you leads as well because you're now bringing them into an arena where they can get some leads in your open house. So definitely partner with a mortgage broker. Um, it'd be a good, good relationship builder, right? Another filter source for you. But um, with homeowners coming through, if they don't want your house, those should become potential leads for you to become their realtor to look at other properties outside of your listing. So you want to be able to basically... Uh, I don't want to say solicit, but you want to be able to position yourself to get new clients and new leads from your open house. So open house is just not an open house to sell the open house. The open house is really an advertisement for you to get new clients. New listing clients, because now you got a big sign up front, and people in the area see it, and they might want to list their house. So you want to become their realtor and list their house. Or new clients from homeowners who bring traffic in, who could become potential buyer clients for you. As you build a relationship with the mortgage broker, and you hopefully get to sell the house that you're listing. Um, and again, the best way to sell your house for your listing, I think, is to attract realtors and brokers to come in so they can blast it out to their their list and their clients and their constituents. So, um, but use some kind of bait, some kind of win-win. What's gonna be worth their time for them to come and check out your open house instead of all the other open houses or spend their day looking at new business and new leads. So you're asking people to basically shut their clock off and come see your property. Give them something to want to come see your property for outside your property. So think of some kind of incentive. And with that being said, this is Ask Jay episode 52. My mom turned 53 today, so um, almost coincidental. But uh, I'm, again, had a great day, great work day, great work week. The new Jay Morrison Academy is coming. Our stocks and finance course is bomb. Credit mastery course, super bomb. You should understand these things for your whole life. You shouldn't just be relying on me or a YouTube video or somebody else to give you instruction. Go take the training and actually learn it for yourself for a lifetime and then be able to pass it down to all your family, right? Change your wealth DNA, learn these areas of expertise, learn our business startup, business mastery, how to buy other businesses, how to scale your own business, residential real estate, all the mechanisms, commercial real estate, all the tricks and, of the trade. Like so, new Jay Morris Academy, jmorrisacademy.com. Get your free wealth DNA kit. Comes with a daily budget, monthly budget, weekly budget, a uh, financial net worth calculator. Find out what your net worth is. And it comes with a dream life expense sheet. Find out what your dream life will actually cost you. So you can get that free wealth DNA kit with my wealth DNA handbook. All that included for free um, at jmorrisacademy.com as well. And just keep rolling, get on your track for success. I'll be down in Baltimore tomorrow donating clothes for our YMC fundraiser. Um, and, you know, keep watching the movement, man. We are leading by example. Peace. YMC, the role models, JMA Wealth Builders.